guys have done a decent job of keeping it private. Yeah, and it's like you wanna you wanna keep things private, but at the same time, like I'm not here to like hide anything. Like that's my girl. That's your girl. You know what I mean? That's that's my lady. It's official. Taylor and Travis have been dating for an entire year now. <laughs> The Lovebirds took fans by surprise when they first stepped out as a couple, and since then, they have been serving memorable couples moments. Of course, we have all the details of how they spent their one-year dating anniversary in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. From surprise serenades to intimate gestures, their special day was a magical blend of romance and charm, so stick around for all the juicy details. From what has been going around, it looks like Taylor and Travis have been spending a lot of time together in Amsterdam. The couple were spot taking a stroll, holding hands, kissing, and having a good laugh. It looks like they will be celebrating their anniversary in the city. Let's not forget the moment she gave him an adorable shout out while she was performing, which was so sweet. Taylor has really made it a thing to shower her man with love when she is performing and Amsterdam wasn't going to be different. According to an inside source, the city holds a magical feeling that they both feel resonates with their love, and they want to spend as much time there as possible before she moves to another country for her tour. Fans are wishing them all the best and are happy they have hit this incredible milestone. But if there is one thing they absolutely love about them, it is how they met. So in celebration of their anniversary, let's go down memory lane and see how they became Hollywood's hottest couple. Yes, no one is forgetting how Travis was totally floored by Taylor's performance at the Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, and how he made a desperate attempt to meet Taylor with a friendship bracelet with his number on it. Like, we all know that plan didn't end well. Taylor would then find out about the whole thing. Then, some people from Travis's side and from Taylor's side put in effort to make things happen. Basically, a lot of things went on behind the scenes that fans are not fully aware of. But once Travis spoke about trying to meet Taylor with a friendship bracelet on the podcast with his brother, everyone wanted to know what happened after. Well, what happened after was that they eventually linked up and got talking. Travis himself confirmed it, saying, I threw the ball in her court and told her, I've seen you rock the stage at Arrowhead. Now you have to come see me rock the stage at Arrowhead. But what really confirmed it for fans was when she made a shocking appearance at Travis's game, where she sat with his mother, Donna Kelsey, in the VIP section and was giving girlfriend vibes with her future mother-in-law. It was just so super cute to watch. From then on, Travis and Taylor were everywhere. From being photographed holding hands in New York City to making appearances on Saturday Night Live and even Taylor hanging out with other NFL players' wives and girlfriends. Guys, the train has really been moving in the right direction since then. Friends and family have confirmed both of them are in the healthiest relationship ever. They genuinely like each other and want to see each other win. They have also been incredibly supportive of one another. Honestly, you have got to have some issue with your eyes if you can't see that. Like, Travis himself is a super busy man. Even with playing in the NFL plus other commitments here and there, he has been able to be there for his woman. The man has been moving from city to city and country to country, supporting his woman all through her heiress tour. A fan favorite at the moment was when he turned up at the heiress tour in London and gave a little performance on stage with Taylor. I initially mentioned it to Tay. I was like, how funny would it be if I just like rolled out on one of the bikes during uh, the 1989, like that era? She started laughing. She was like, would you seriously be up for like doing something like that? And I was just like, are you what? Uh, yeah. Sure enough, she found the perfect part of the show for me to come in. Did you ever think in a million years you'd be a backup dancer? You got a lot of help. Are you kidding me? I was up there with three professionals. You can do no wrong when Taylor's on stage. One thing I told myself is do not drop the baby. The golden rule was do not drop Taylor. Get her to the yeah. couch safe. Don't drop do the not. football, no fumbles. To the no fumbles. Hold on, hold on. Like, Travis himself is a super busy man. Even with playing in the NFL plus other commitments here and there, he has been able to be there for his girl. The man has been moving from city to city and country to country, supporting his girl all through her heiress tour. A fan favorite at the moment was when he turned up at the heiress tour in London 
and gave a little performance on stage with Taylor. It's literally the most unexpected thing ever. And it's just cool to see how comfortable Taylor is with Travis, that she's willing to share her creative space with him. Fans are totally pleased that Travis is super invested in making sure he is part of his girlfriend's success, not in a way to make himself more famous, but to just be that supportive person who can survive in Taylor's super chaotic and busy entertainment lifestyle. The fact that their relationship has been marked by mutual respect and admiration, and the fact that both are taking an active interest in each other's passions and careers has not only strengthened their bond, but somehow contributed to their individual growth and success. And we love to see it. But let's be real, as much as there are a lot of people that are huge fans of this couple, there has also been a lot of hate. Since they became a couple, they have been plagued with rumors of breaking up and one scandalous accusation after another. There were some who even claimed that Travis is using her for fame and Taylor moved too quickly into a new relationship to get over Joe. Multiple issues with several of Travis's ex-girlfriends also came to light, and people began to question Travis's intentions. Soon he began to lose favor with some Swifties, and there were several reports that Travis might be cheating on Taylor. Once a cheater, always a cheater? That's what Travis Kelsey's ex is trying to warn Taylor Swift about, telling her to stay away from the unfaithful football player. Listen, if you're dealing with a guy who's cheated on girls in the past, or maybe even you, ask yourself one question. How much does he have in common with that? But many of the rumors have turned out to be false. Sources say Taylor is particularly not surprised by every negative thing that is said about her, as she is already used to false narratives being made about her. She has grown thicker skin since the days Kim Kardashian led an online attack against her, and she honestly cannot be controlled by people's false narratives. Travis is also not surprised by the negative media against their relationship, because he knows it kind of comes with being in the spotlight. And the only thing he is really concerned about is protecting Taylor as much as possible and not doing anything that will push her away? Thankfully, despite suffering a heartbreak, Taylor's trust in Travis has been unwavering, and their open communication has helped them weather the storm which has further proved that their bond is unbreakable. Plus, it also helps that they have been as honest with each other as much as possible, and they are always aware of their situation. So haters can give it a rest, because this couple is only growing stronger. There is also the unwavering support of their families. Travis and Taylor are super close to their loved ones, giving us another thing that they have in common and value as well. Thankfully, their family members have been very supportive of their relationship and are rooting for them. Taylor has literally become a member of the Kelsey family and has spent several memorable moments with them, like the time she spent Easter with Travis's older brother, Jason Kelsey, and his family, or the time she attended several of Travis's games sitting with Kelsey's parents. Taylor has scored major points with the Kelseys, and it's pretty obvious with the way they treat her. Travis's dad has described her as one of the sweetest people with the most down-to-earth nature. While Jason has called her an inspiration and a great role model to his girls, Travis is also very much liked by Taylor's family. At most of Taylor's shows, he's usually spotted hanging out with her dad, and Taylor's mom is absolutely happy that he is dating her daughter. She is particularly happy with how well he treats her and makes her happy. She loves how Taylor can be herself around him, which is something she has watched her daughter struggle with. So it's kind of a relief to see her daughter be in love again and truly be herself. So now that it is confirmed that the lovebirds have their parents' blessings, could there be news of a wedding happening anytime soon? Well, keep your fingers crossed because it could be happening anytime from now, especially with their anniversary celebration happening. And if there is one thing we know for sure, Amsterdam is really the perfect place for a romantic proposal. So hey Travis, do us all a favor, fulfill all our romantic fantasies, and pop the question already. So guys, in what ways do you think they have grown personally and professionally since they started dating? What do you think would be the perfect way for them to celebrate their anniversary? And do you think their relationship can continue to handle public scrutiny and scandals? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know Travis's heartfelt confession about Taylor on their anniversary night in Amsterdam, watch this next video.